Hello everybody! Just a quick channel update video. First of all, I want to make sure you know I'm not dead. Um, the reason why you've not heard anything from me in the past like couple of days, more than that really, is because my router died and it took forever to get a replacement. So I've literally had no internet whatsoever for like the past few days and it's been a bit of a pain. But there it is. On the bright side, I did manage to get plenty of recording done, so there's that. The uh, first couple of episodes of Hidden and Dangerous 2 I recorded. They're going to up, go up shortly. You'll have to bear with me, though, because they're quite big uploads. Like, um, both the first... Uh, go away, mouse. Be gone. Screw off. Anyway. <laughs> they're, um, they're quite big uploads, because they're quite long videos. Like, each, each one is about just under an hour long. Um, so it's quite extensive. What can I say? It's it's a long, lengthy, drawn-out, slow-paced game at heart, and I decided to keep it to one mission per video, so that's what you'll be getting, even if the video is like 50 minutes long, but never mind. Um, so yeah, there's that. There's obviously going to be more Oblivion on the way. I'm really annoyed that my internet cut out when it did, because it left the Oblivion LP at a really kind of good point. Um... Literally, if it had finished, if my internet had cut out maybe like a video or two later than it did, I would have been satisfied because that would have left it at a nice point. But as it was, it kind of left it at a really awkward sort of cliffhangery type deal. Very irritating. Also, we now have 3,000, just over 3,000, 3,100, I think, now subscribers, uh, which is mental. Um, so, welcome aboard, new people. I think most of you have probably come from the dumbing down video I did. So, welcome. I'm going to be doing more opinion videos a bit like that. Don't know how often or when, but I will be doing more. And, um, yeah, well, you know, because there's demand for it now. So, uh, there's also going to be a part two, so to speak, of the dumbing down video on its way. Um, there was a lot of stuff in that video I wasn't particularly satisfied with, stuff I wanted to expand upon, stuff I wanted to explain a bit better, and, you know, just generally stuff which I wanted to respond to, which people had brought up in the comments. Um, a lot of people sadly kind of missed the point of that video, unfortunately. Um, now some people will tell me that that's just the way fanboys work, but it's it's kind of sad that really I tried to make a video where I explained at the start I do like Morrowind, blah blah blah. I've been playing it for years, but as soon as I start to say a single bad thing about Morrowind in comparison to the other games, people assume the entire video is just dedicated to attacking Morrowind, which it is not. Oh dear. Well, yeah, so there's going to be another video. It's going to be a bit longer than the other one. It's honestly a better video, in my opinion, because it's a bit more general as opposed to just being aimed at Samuel Online. And I've done it without a script this time because, well, A, doing it with a script sounds a bit too formal for my liking, and B, it takes forever to write. So, <laughs> yeah, there's that. Um, so, yeah, I expect that fairly soon. I'm still in the process of just... For putting the final touches on the editing and then it'll get rendered and uploaded as soon as I can. Um, hopefully people will actually watch it and haven't just moved on after seeing the dumbing down video, which is, by the way, reached like 20,000 views now, which is ridiculous, considering especially that most of my regular videos get about 500 views. Um, I'm a little bit taken aback by that, I didn't realise it would get so popular. Hey, but I'll talk more about that in the actual part two of that little discussion later on. Oh, maybe there's a good view of the sea from up here. So yeah, my internet's been down. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim as a result, which is why I'm recording this here in Skyrim. I finished the main quest doing Dawnguard right now, as you can... You used to just be able to see solitude over the mountains. That's exactly what I'd imagined. I was going to say, as you can probably tell. Um, really impressed with her, by the way. I think Bethesda have finally managed to pull off an interesting... NPC companion for once, which is a nice surprise actually, I wasn't expecting that. Um, since I've not actually played all of Dawnguard before properly, like I've done like the first cave and that was about it before, so I'm um, this is all a bit new to me. Um, so yeah, uh, one thing I will say, which I don't think I did mention in the video, and since I'm here right now it's worth pointing out, because I am playing Skyrim, after having now done the main quest for a second full run, um, and the Civil War as well as that. While all the Elder Scrolls games suffer from, and this is something people brought up in the comments on the Dumbing Down video, 
while all the, all the Elder Scrolls games suffer from the world not reacting very well to the actions of the player, I honestly feel that Skyrim does it the best of, of the lot by far. Much better than Morrowind, much better than Oblivion. Um, I mean, all I have to do is walk around and I see, like, Imperial Guards patrolling the streets of Windhelm, the Dunmer guys saying how life's much better under, under Imperial rule than under Ulfric Stormcloak. Um, you know... It's just, I, I, I do genuinely feel like my character has had some sort of impact on the world, even if it's mainly just like through the Civil War and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I really, you know, I really think that's pretty great. It's not, you've not really had anything like that in the previous games. Maybe having the Oblivion Gates disappear finally in Oblivion after the end of the main quest. But, you know, other than that, it's, you know, it doesn't really compare very well. It's good. I like it. I enjoy it. You know. And the other thing I love, love about this game more than perhaps the others is just how many awesome moments there are in it. Like there's a, I think there's some footage of it that's going to go into the part two of the video. But like fighting Alduin at the top of the throat of the world, you know, fucking awesome. That was an awesome fight, and it was an awesome spectacle, and it's better than anything in the previous games by far. You know, Sovereign Guard was amazing. Um, I just, you know. I think people really shortchange Skyrim because they're too devoted to the older games, especially Morrowind. Um, and it's a shame, but I suppose fanboys will be fanboys at the end of the day. But there it is. That little rant probably should have been in this. Shouldn't have been in this video, but never mind. It's in there anyway. Saves me having to edit stuff into the other video, really, which I guess is always nice. So there. Um, yeah, that's about it really. I'll probably be doing a stream at some point, by the way. Um, I'm in a bit, of, a bit of a Blood Bowl mood, as some of you who are following me on Twitter may have noticed. Um, mainly thanks to the LP of Blood Bowl League thingy that's going on at the minute with a bunch of LPs that you may have heard of. Not the TGS one, in case you get confused, it's a different one. Um, so yeah, and I've been playing with a Lizard Man team on a campaign, and uh, yeah, I might stream some of that at some point, just because it might be fun. And I've not done a stream in a little while, so... Oh, and I will eventually do that Dragonborn stream, I promised. It's just as soon as I get round to actually doing Dragonborn, you know. Um, yeah, that's kind of it, really, I think. Actually. Um, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll... See you all again soon when my next video gets uploaded, you know. So, ta-da for now.